a very warm afternoon to all my dear teens so how are you all you must be enjoying your studies and even at the same time you even helping your parents in this lockdown so my kids said today what are we going to do uh, let me think let me think. yes that is unit 1 section 2 mcb that is the name of that uh, non fiction is think very there is mm, means that i think that many of you love fairies even many of you love to hear fairies story well what is so special about it no 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 i am not going to unveil it you will get to know slowly and gradually so for that let's move to the summarization with presentation therein you will find some pictures Uh, those pictures are going to like it will be helpful for you it would be more relatable and it will be more convincing for you when the narration of summarization would be there and at the same time it will be reflecting both summarization and pictures so it will be more realistic and more convincing so my dear hold your breath and get ready get ready let's get started for that right so my dear students welcome back to this presentation now here see this is course book my english folder and that you all know unit 1 section 2 now i got look at this picture fairy spell my 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 spell how two girls that well my dear kids this is a story about two girls they are they were cousins okay first that is there are two color name elsie and frenzy now see how these two girls convince the world that fairies are real my my fairies are real okay let's order and let's get to know and those fairies are known as the cottingley fairies now why cottingley you will get to know that now these you can see these are the two cousins okay who like you can say you just create a sensational news about the fairies now let's begin our summarization well my dear students in july okay 1917 16 year old elsie died okay and her 10 year old cousin that is princess prepared now my dear friends they were you know they were tired of being sided by elsie's father over their claims of being fairies so they took a photograph of some to prove their existence okay now see just out of you know rage they went all the ways just to prove themselves now the girls lived together in cottingley that's why it's known as cottingley fairies on the outskirts of bradford west yorkshire england they often played together in a small wooded creek behind elsie's home and this is where they saw the fairy you can see here one day in july elsie tired of her father's dismissive attitude to her and princess claim means nobody believed that and what she did she borrowed her father's camera to take a picture and and what happened next when the film was developed elsie's parents were in a great great surprise the picture that she had taken was of princess with a troop of fairies dancing in front of her well 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 but elsie's parents were flabbergasted means they did not believe her father absolutely he is not very much convincing but her mother she believed on them so a month later francis took a picture of elsie which clearly showed her playing with a gnome okay her right still wasn't convinced mr right was still convinced and there the matter settled 
Elsie's mother had developed an interest in things supernatural. I think that many of you even love supernatural uh, movies and series based on supernatural and even horror also. And what they did, they took the pictures to share with a few sophist meeting in Bradford one evening. Oh my, my. Now, what happened next? In no time at all, the pictures were the center of attention and argument of the people who believed the fairies were real. The most prominent and vocal was Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, oh my God, who is he? Well, he, is a, he was a creator of Sherlock Holmes. He printed the first two pictures of, in their Sand Magazine. These are the two pictures. This is the first picture, Cottingley Theories, taken by Elsie Wright in 1917. And this is the second picture, okay, taken by Francis Griffith in 1970. And where these two pictures printed, these two pictures were printed in Sand Magazine in 1920 to help and support his argument for the existence of fairies. This article made the story a worldwide sensation. In 1920, Sir Arthur arranged for Elsie and Francis to once again be given a camera. Again, he managed somehow and left on these own in the small creek. What was the result? Let's find it out. The results were three more photos. Wow, Cottingley Fairies photo three, you can see here. That is four, and the fifth one is here. That is there, you can see fairies, and they are taking sun bath. Wow. And the last to be made for shortly after this photo session, Elsie and Francis, they moved away from one another because they grown up at that time, and they stopped seeing fairies. The controversy over the pictures continued to rage into the 1960s when new techniques for examining the photos brought them more into question. Now everyone was questioning about the existence of these photos and how authentic these photos were. In 1966, a reporter from the Daily Express newspaper praised Elsie, who had by then returned to UK. She left open the possibility that she believed she had photographed her thoughts and the media once again became interested in the story. In the early 1980s, Elsie and Francis admitted that the photographs were faked. How? How did they manage? They used some cardboard outputs of fairies copied from a popular children's book of the time. Well, I hope that you like it. And at least you have an idea now that what it's all about. And it would be really very interesting when you get to know the explanation page-wise. Okay? So my dear children, till then, you just enjoy the summarization. Please use headphones for the better sound quality. Otherwise, it would be very difficult for you to listen. Okay? Till then, stay safe and stay blessed. So now we are going to meet in the second video. Bye-bye.